With over hundreds of new creators flooding to kick each and every single day, now is the best time to go live on this platform. And so in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how you're able to do this, which includes setting up your kick account, setting up your streaming software like OBS, as well as your overlays and your alerts. And so no matter if you're a beginner or if you're looking to expand your reach, make sure you stick around to the end of this video and let's get you going live on kick starting today. So jumping straight into the video, the very first thing you want to do is go to kick.com. Click on the sign up button that's on the top right hand corner, put in your information and create your account. Once your account has been created, you are then going to come up to the top right hand corner once more, click on your profile icon, click on create a dashboard. And on the left hand side, you want to then click on channel and you want to scroll down where it says stream URL and key. Now make sure that you leave this page open because we're going to be needing this for an important step a little bit later on in this video. And so for now, what you're going to want to do is open up a brand new tab and I want you to head on over to obsproject.com and download OBS studios. And so since we're working off of windows today, we're going to download the one for windows. But if you do have a Mac computer, then you can go ahead and download the Mac OS version. Now, once you download it and open up OBS studios, you'll be met with this particular screen right here. And so what you're going to want to do is come down to the settings tab on the bottom right hand corner. The screen is going to open up for you. And what you're going to do is click on the videos tab. Now from here, you want to set your base and your output resolution to both 1920 by 1080 and your FPS values, set that to common and turn that to 60. So you can have 60 frames per second. Now from here, what you're going to do is click on stream and you then want to set your service to custom and then head back over to kick. So that way you can copy your stream URL as well as your stream key. And you want to paste that inside of your OBS studios. So in order to see your stream URL or your stream key, you need to click on this eye icon and you are then going to see an option for you to copy it. Now, when it comes to the stream key, I highly recommend just clicking on the option that says reset because sometimes the one that they automatically provide you just does not work. So in order to prevent that from happening, just go ahead and click on the option that says reset, get yourself a fresh key and then paste that inside of OBS studios. Now go ahead and click on apply and then you want to head on over to the output tab and you want to make sure that you're changing your output mode to advanced. Now you're going to see a bunch of options here in which we can go ahead and adjust manually. Now, if this is your first time inside of OBS studios, I can understand that this looks a little intimidating. However, I promise you it's a lot easier than it looks. And I'm going to walk you through this entire thing. And so what you're going to want to do is have your audio track set to one. What this does is it ensures that all of the audio that you have coming through OBS will be streamed into kick. And then for your audio encoder, you want to make sure that it's set to FF. M P E G A A C. Now for your video encoder, you want to make sure that you have an H.264. You do not want to use X264 because this utilizes your CPU and takes up a lot more resources on your PC. You want to make sure that you're using your graphics card or your GPU, which is going to be the H.264. So that way you can have better quality and use up less resources. Now for your rescale output, you want to make sure that is disabled. And then for your rate control, you want to have this set to CBR or constant bit rate. It means the same exact thing. Now, when it comes to your bit rate, this is determined by two different factors. The first one is going to be your PC specs. And the second one is going to be your internet speed. Now, if you have like a higher end PC, then of course you'll be able to run uh, at a higher bit rate. But if you have like a lower end PC, then you're going to need to actually bring down your settings a little bit to run on the lower end, but still high enough for you to get a decent quality stream. And so in order for you to really determine as to what it is you can do, you first need to go ahead and test out your internet speed to see exactly what it is that you're working with. So we're going to go to this official website, speedtest.net, and I'm going to make sure that I have a link to this as well in the description below so that we can go directly to this page. And so what you're going to do is click on this big button that says go, and you're going to let it test out your internet speed. Now you want to make sure that you have a minimum amount of 10 megabytes per second of upload speed because we need to multiply this by 1000, which will provide us with 10,000 kilobytes of bit rate that we can use. However, we are only going to be utilizing 80% of our kilobytes, which provide us with 8,000 kilobytes of bit rate 
which is the recommended amount by kick to achieve a 1080p 60 fps stream you do not need to go any higher than this if you do go any higher than this then it is a possibility that your stream just might not show up and so do not go no higher than 8,000 kilobytes now if you are somebody that is running a budget pc build or you don't have the internet speed to get to 10 megabytes per second but let's say you're running like 8 megabytes per second of upload speed then you want to make sure that you have your bitrate set to 6,000 kilobytes this is not going to give you a 1080p 60 fps stream unfortunately however this will give you a 720p 60 fps stream which is still pretty good quality so now that we have our bitrate set we need to come down to our key interval we're going to leave this at two seconds for our preset this really just depends on your pc specs um, if you have a mid-range to low-range pc i highly recommend just leaving it at p5 there's not really much of a difference between p5 to p7 i've looked at a bunch of videos it's not really much of a difference at all so just leave it at p5 but if you do have a higher end pc then you can go ahead and go to p7 for best quality for your tuning you want to leave this at high quality and then for your multi-pass mode the same thing for your presets i actually would just leave this at two pass quarter resolution but if you are on a higher end pc then go ahead and do two passes full resolution and then for your profile you want to leave that at high for your look ahead you can actually uncheck this you don't really have to have that checked and then for your adaptive quantization you want to leave that checked for your b frames leave that at two and then for your custom encoder leave this blank once you're now done with this go ahead and click apply and then come to the audio tab now in the audio section you want to make sure that you have your sample rate set to 48 kilohertz which is going to be the highest quality for your audio and then for your desktop audio you want to keep this disabled now i know that some of you is going to go in the comment section asking why should we disable the desktop audio well i actually have a full video which i'm going to be linking down in the description as well that actually walks you through why you should disable the desktop audio but it also shows you how to split all of your audio sources the correct way inside of obs so that includes your music volume your gameplay volume your microphone or any other audio source that you decide to add and so if you want to know how to do that then make sure you click on that video at the end of the tutorial so that way i can show you how to set it up properly step by step and so now that we're done with the official settings inside of obs what we can do now is add in our scenes and our sources as well as our overlays and we're going to do all of that at the same exact time and so the way on how we're going to do that is by going over to this official website own.tv and of course i'm going to have a link to this as well down in the description below so all you have to do is just click on it and you can go directly to this page and so once you're on this page make sure you click on this option that says join for free it's then going to bring up some ways on how you're able to log in so you have twitch youtube kick discord as well as your email since we are utilizing kick for this video we're actually going to sign in with our kick account now if you have any other socials like youtube twitch or your discord you can actually add those in later but for now let's go ahead and assign it with our kick account It's then going to bring up this page right here where we have to now allow access and then once you click on the option you will now be brought to your official dashboard so this is where you can actually go download all of your overlays all of your widgets and your alerts and so what we're going to do here to get our widgets our overlays and our alerts we're actually going to come to the store we are then going to come to the left hand side where it says overlays and then it provides you with five different options for free so you can use any one of these and so if you just click on one so let's say we do this and if we scroll down a little bit this is everything that comes inside the overlay package so we have a webcam overlay it looks as though we have a starting soon screen a br back scene an ending scene an offline scene as well as our gameplay scene and a just chatting scene so we get a lot with this 100% for free and it's animated. So that's a plus. So in order to download this, what you're gonna do is click right here where it says install series free. All right, so it says that the series has now installed. And so what you're gonna do from here is come over to my scenes at the top. And then you're gonna see right here where you have downloaded your uh, overlay pack. You wanna go ahead and click on it. And so from here, what you're gonna see is this little video that tells you how to download this into your OBS. So what you're going to do is you're going to click right here and it's going to download a pure.json file. 
So from here, what you need to do is open up your OBS studios. You are then going to come over to your scene collection. You are then going to come down to import. And then you're going to click on this button that says add. And you're going to select your pure.json file. Now, what you're going to do, I like to rename this. So I'm going to name this kick overlay. And then it's very important that you click on this check button right here. Click on that white box to give yourself a check and then click import. What this is going to do now is going to come back up to the scene collection and you're going to see it says kick overlay. Go ahead and select this and then it's going to bring up every overlay that we have downloaded. So you now have your starting soon screen, your ending screen, your BR back scene as when your game overlay as well as your just chatting scene. Now, what we need to do is we need to get our chat inside of our OBS. So what you need to do is come back over to kick. You then want to click on your profile icon. You want to go over to your channel. You want to then come into the settings, which is at the bottom of your chat. So look at your chat, scroll down to the bottom. You will see this little gear icon. You are then going to click right here where it says pop out chat. You are going to take this URL, copy it. You're going to go back inside of your OBS. You are going to go into your docs. You're going to go to your custom browser docs. You're going to add a new one. You're going to say kick chat. And then you're going to paste the link right here and then click apply. So you now are going to accept all and you now have your kick chat right here inside of your OBS. Then you can place this wherever you want. I'm going to place mine right here. So you now have your chat here. And then if you want to type it, so testing, it tells you that you need to log into your kick account. So go ahead and log in. Once you're signed in, you can now go ahead and do testing. And then if you come back over to kick, you will see that it is working. So it is officially working. It is now hundred percent linked. So you now are good to go here. And then if you want to be able to change the layout of your OBS, um, you can actually come up to docs and then there is an option that says full height docs. You can actually click this and you can actually just get a full height of your chat. So now that we have this set up, what we need to do is now add in our gameplay. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our scenes. We're going to go over to overlay one. So this is our gameplay scene right here. We're going to go into our source. And then you're going to select a display capture or a window capture. Now you can do a game capture as well, but you have to make sure that you have the specific game that you're going to play. You have to make sure you have that up first if you're going to do this. And the same thing with the window capture. You got to make sure you have the application open first. However, I personally like to do a display capture because I don't really have to worry about that. So I'm going to select display capture. We're going to name this gameplay. And then we're going to choose our display. So it's going to be our monitor that we're choosing. And I'm going to go ahead and choose my primary monitor. And then I am going to now right click on this and I am going to rescale it. So I'm going to click transform and we're going to do fit to screen. Now it automatically fits the entire monitor on my screen. Now, the reason why you see black bars at the bottom and at the top is because I have an ultra wide monitor. If you have a standard 16 by nine monitor, then this will cover the entire screen and you will see everything. But I have these black bars because I'm rocking an ultra wide monitor. Now, since we have the gameplay scene sitting at the very top, we actually need to bring this and we need to put it down here at the bottom. So we're actually going to click on this down arrow and just move this down to the bottom. And the reason being is because the gameplay scene was over our overlay as well as our alerts. So you don't want that happening you want to make sure this is at the bottom so now if i were to go into owned and if i were to test out the alert you will then see that the alerts work and so the only thing you really have to do now is just load up your game now really quickly if you want to be able to have your audio uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come back to your sources you're going to click on this plus icon you are then going to add an audio output capture and then from here, you want to do audio. And what you're going to do is just basically 
select your headset. So find your headset in this. Mine is right here. And so now whenever you have any music playing or anything like that, you'll be able to hear it. So for example, if I were to pull up my Spotify, you will see in my OBS that my audio volume is now going up. And this is going to happen for anything that you are listening to throughout your headset. So now the very last thing that we're going to do is customize our overlays. And so what we're going to do is we're going to come right back into own and inside of owner.pro, what we need to do is come over to my scenes and then we're going to click on our folder. And then we are going to now select one of our overlays. So for example, let's go ahead and do the starting soon screen. And so now this gives us options to be able to customize this however we choose. So what we're going to do is I can go ahead and click on the background and then I could come and change the color of my starting soon screen. If I want to go ahead and put in my socials, I can just click right here, just double click it, go into my settings, and then I can change the username right here. So once that's done, we're going to do the same thing for the rest of our overlays. So come to the top, go ahead and click save to so make sure you save this. And then you see that we have some tabs on the top left hand corner. Go ahead and click on the plus icon and then you will see it says my scenes. It has the rest of your overlays. So you can then go ahead and just select the one that you want to do. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, overlay scene, my gameplay overlay. And then this is where you can go ahead and add in your camera overlay. So we're going to click add stream widget. We're then going to do all widgets. And then you're going to come over to on the left hand side, it says overlays, webcam overlays. And then here is the webcam overlay that we have access to. We're going to go ahead and click on it. We're going to install this scene. And there you go. It is now right here, ready for you to use. You're going to go ahead and put this wherever you choose. I'm going to go ahead and put mine right here. I'm going to downscale it a little bit. And then when I click save and I come back into my OVS, and if I were to go into my overlay, you will see that my camera overlay is right here. So you're just going to adjust this inside of own.pro and just put this wherever you want. Own does provide you with guidelines so that way you know exactly where you're putting it. So just click save. It is now exactly where I want it to be. So it updated. I'm going to go ahead and add in my webcam. So I'm going to go into my sources. I'm going to click on the plus icon. I'm going to add a video capture device for our webcam. I am then going to go ahead and select my camera, which is going to be my cam link Four. drag this down. And then I'm going to bring my webcam and I'm going to put this under everything else and just resize it accordingly. And there you go. So my webcam is now inside of my camera overlay. And so now that everything is set up, the only thing you have to do is press that button to go live. And so now I'm officially live on kick. And if you were to take a look at our stream quality, you will see that we're now at 1080p 60 frames per second based on the settings that we put inside of OBS. Now I know that that was a lot, but congratulations because you've made it to the end of today's video. And so if you found this helpful or if you learned something, make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel. And in case if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments down below or feel free to join my Discord server and create a ticket and I'll be able to work with you one on one. Now, if you want to be able to split all of your audio sources like your gameplay, your chat, your music, as well as your microphone volume, then make sure you click on this video right here and I'll walk you through step by step on how you're able to do that directly inside of OBS.